Unlike the two previous super active seasons, from a numbers standpoint, the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season was a relatively average hurricane season. With 14 named storms, eight hurricanes, and two major hurricanes, but it ended up being the sixth most costly Atlantic hurricane season on record. Over the next few minutes, we'll take a look back at this deadly hurricane season. After officially starting on June 1st, the season saw its first named storm with the formation of Tropical Storm Alex on June 5th. It was the first time since 2014 that the first storm of the season actually formed after the season had officially begun. As it crossed Florida, Alex dropped torrential rains, causing flash flooding and doing around $100,000 in damages in the state. Next up, Tropical Storm Bonnie formed in the Southern Caribbean Sea on July 1st and made landfall shortly thereafter near the Costa Rica-Nicaragua border. Bonnie crossed over into the Pacific Basin the next day, becoming the first storm to do so since Hurricane Otto in 2016. In an unforecast surprise on July 1st, a low-pressure system near Savannah, Georgia suddenly organized into Tropical Storm Colin, a non-consequential storm that dissipated on the second inland over northeastern South Carolina. Then, for almost two months, the Atlantic Basin was quiet, and it was the first time since 1997 that there were no tropical storms in the month of August. Then, on September 1st, the basin reawakened with the formation of Tropical Storm Danielle over the Central Atlantic. When Danielle intensified into a hurricane the next day, it became the latest first hurricane of the season since 2013. Tropical Depression 9 formed in the Caribbean Sea, and Tropical Depression 10 formed in the eastern tropical Atlantic. Since Tropical Depression 10 attained Tropical Storm strength before TD9, it became Tropical Storm Hermine. After Tropical Depression 9 became Hurricane Ian, it grew into one of the most destructive storms of the season, making landfall in western Cuba as a high-end Category 3 hurricane. Then, Ian slammed southwestern Florida as a high-end Category 4 hurricane. And finally, after leaving Florida, Ian hit South Carolina as a Category 1. Then finally, becoming one of the season's worst storms and the last named system of the season, subtropical storm Nicole was named on November 7th. The next day, Nicole had transitioned into a tropical cyclone, and on November 9th, Nicole made landfall as a tropical storm at Marsh Harbor, Great Abaco Island, Bahamas, with sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. Only hours later, the storm strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane, while making landfall on Grand Bahama with sustained winds of 75 miles per hour. On the 10th, Nicole made landfall on North Hutchinson Island, Florida, with 75 mile per hour sustained winds. Despite being relatively weak, Nicole's huge size produced widespread heavy rainfall and a giant wind field across the Greater Antilles, the Bahamas, and Florida. Several days of strong onshore winds on the east coast of Florida created severe beach erosion, in many cases finishing a terrible destructive job that Hurricane Ian had started. To learn more about the 2022 hurricane season and our top 10 weather events of 2022, visit weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.